covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Several of the world's largest publishers have sued the Internet Archive for its emergency library of 1.3 million books, claiming the organization is engaging in willful digital piracy on an industrial scale. Last week, the Hatchet Book Group, HarperCollins Publishers, John Wiley & Sons, and Penguin Random House sued the nonprofit, better known for its Wayback Machine archive of web pages, for copyright infringement. Infringement, they argued, is intentional and systematic. We understand that publishers hope to shut down the .org. The Internet Archive invited the ire of publishers and authors back in March when it decided to lift restrictions on the digital copies of library books it has acquired and scanned. Anyone that registers with the site can take out any of 1.3 million books. The complaint states, although the Internet Archive claims the real figure is 1.4 million. The Internet Archive is registered as a library but has asserted an untested theory called controlled digital lending that argues libraries are not infringing on copyright when they make digital copies of books they possess. Publishers and authors have been unhappy about this approach but held fire while the Internet Archive restricted the number of ebooks it would make available at any given time to the number of physical books it possessed. That restriction went out of the window in March, however, when the Internet Archive decided that due to the coronavirus, it would make all its ebooks available without a waiting list. The Authors Guild said the organization has no rights whatsoever to these books, much less to give them away indiscriminately without consent of the publisher or author. And the Association of American Publishers called the move the height of hypocrisy and a cynical play to undermine copyright. The lawsuit filed in New York calls the electronic copies of the books of the Internet Archive that the Inter Internet Archive has made digital bootlegs. It goes on, the Internet Archive not only acts entirely outside any legal framework, it does so flagrantly and fraudulently, and it proceeds despite actual notice that its actions constitute infringement. In response, the Internet Archive's founder, Brewster Kale, has posted a brief blog post in which he notes that the organization is disappointed by the lawsuit and claims to be supporting publishers, authors, and readers. He says publishers suing libraries for lending books, in this case protected digitized versions, and while schools and libraries are closed, is not in anyone's interest.